Hey YouTube, so I'm definitely here with a new video and I know y'all thought I wasn't coming back, but I'm trying to tell y'all. Now let me stop, but um, by the title of this video, it is called Rebound and you guys are going to understand why I'm calling it Rebound, but for me, it's pretty much talking about dating after you just really been um in like a toxic or bad or just regular relationship that didn't work out. So, for me, like, after I got out of my relationship, um, I was cooling. Like, I was ready to just be done with dating for a little while. And, um, I had just recently had a job interview. So, I'm, like, waiting for, you know, the results. And I'm just, like, literally, like, was ready to just live my life or whatever. Not worry about nothing. Just have fun with my friends because that's what we do. I feel like it's, like, print on print right now. So, I'm sorry. Anyway, so, um, long story short, there was this guy, and I'm, I feel bad for making this video, but since he told me not to make the video and something's going to happen if I do make the video, that, that just, like, annoys me. It's like, don't tell me what to do. It's like, my channel, I'm going to do what I want. So, long story short, this video is about you. Anyways, um... I was minding my own business and then um I went to a day party with my friends and it was this guy that I followed him on Instagram for like I guess a while and we just liked each other pictures that was about it and um so I went to the day party and it's just like our normal crew and um my homeboy was there and so he was like, oh, you know, so-and-so. I was like, oh, yeah. And then it was just, like, nice to see him because, like, we, you know how you always follow someone, but you never see them, and then you finally see them. And so it's like, you know, hey, you know, I'm a really nice person or whatever. I wasn't stink or nothing like that. I was really nice. So um, I was there with my homeboy. And so I just randomly asked my friend. I was like, oh, do he have a girlfriend? And then he was like, oh, um, he pretty much asked the same thing. Was that your boyfriend? And then I was like, oh, that's so funny. So, you know, whatever. The night went on. We had so much fun that night. It was so good. So, um, what happened? I'm literally, like, thinking in my head. Um, I guess what happened? Um, oh, so the Tuesday we go to Taco Tuesdays. Like, I promise you I'm not going back over there for a while. Like, I'm done with downtown downtown has been getting way too much of my money but yeah so we go to like taco tuesdays and the guy is there and you know it was it's not it wasn't a double date but it was my best friend and me and my guy friend and the guy so i was like okay you know hey so we're all hanging out so we go to a like a rooftop party then we go back to taco tuesdays and we start talking so then it was like off the rip like pretty much the first couple of questions was like about my ex because apparently he did not know that I had just got out of a relationship. I never posted, like I will post like things on Instagram, but I would never post, you know, the guy on Instagram. So he never like, I guess put two and two together that I was in a relationship, but everybody told him that I was fresh out of a relationship. And so his problem was he did not want to be a rebound. And I'm thinking like, for me, a rebound is you automatically know you're out of a relationship and you are going to find somebody to have sex with or to kick it with or to do everything that you you just don't want to be alone so you know for a fact that you're going to find somebody you're going to you know have fun with them whatever and then you're going to go back to your old partner that's how i view a rebound as anybody else can like view it as something else but for me personally i feel like a rebound is when you do that and you know you're going to go back to your partner so i'm telling him like i'm just like you're i'm not looking at you as a rebound because i don't see myself going back to my old partner at all and he was there like my ex-boyfriend was there so like literally the entire night it was just all about like relationship stuff and i'm like bro we i like just met you like why are we talking about relationships so that's not like really what i want to talk about when i first meet someone i want to genuinely get to know them so my friend my other my other girlfriend she wasn't there yet so finally she came like around one o'clock and then i'm telling my best friend i was like this boy's been asking me all about relationship questions and everything and then like literally we were there and then i went to the bar and i went to go get a drink and he comes back and then he's like um 
your so are you talking to your ex-boyfriend did you block his number and i'm like bro you like asking me so much about him like he is right over there if you have any questions like you can literally go over there and talk to him and then he was like oh that's him he's been looking at you the whole night like i just thought it was just some random dude that wanted to talk to you or whatever he was like i was standing next to him and everything i was like yes but for me it wasn't a big deal like i'm a grown-ass woman and now I can literally be in the same room as as him and not say anything, not acknowledge him. But that whole night, everybody was in my ear, like, "Oh, he's looking at you. Oh, he's not over you." And it's like, how you how you gonna get over someone if everyone keeps on talking about him? So that was like really, really annoying. Like everyone kept on talking about my ex, and I'm just like, "What the fuck? Like, how am I supposed to get over him?" So um. Anyway, so we were just, you know, I just let it go. Just someone to talk to. We're just talking, kicking it, whatever. So then, um, I was just like, are you going to ask me for my number or something? Because, like, literally we're talking forever. And so, I know I should never have did that. I know. But whatever. I just, you know, I was, I don't like small talk a lot. It's like, just take my number and keep it moving. So, my friend comes and she's like, oh, so you talking to so-and-so? I was like, yeah, I talked to him. He's pretty cool. He's all right. And so, she was like, girl, I was on Snapchat with him all day. He was asking me all these questions about you. And for me, that was like one red flag because I feel like I was prejudged. Like, if I feel like if I'm going to get to know someone, I may ask like a question or two, like, are they in a relationship? You know, are they crazy or something like that? But as far as that, I'm going to get to know the person for the person. I'm not going to sit there and ask mad questions about them, ask like just a bunch of different things. Like literally she was like all day she was on Snapchat and he was asking like different questions about me, trying to get to know me. I'm just like, if he had all those questions, he could have just you know, DM me, he could have, there was ways for him to get in contact with me if he wanted to talk to me. So, I was kind of like up in the air about that. And he was like, kind of like staying offish. And then like another thing, he was just kept on saying like, he didn't want to be a rebound. And I'm just like, we're not even dating. We're not even doing anything. This is like the first time I met you. So like, how the hell are you going to be a rebound? So anyway, so like we talk but like I kept on telling my friends like I was just like this guy is kind of mean and I'm like if I wanted to stay with an asshole I would have just stayed with my ex-boyfriend and like I'm telling him that I'm like you are really kind of mean like you really need to calm down with your attitude or whatever so we go to um like another he didn't ask me out like on a date or nothing like that so at this point i'm just like honestly whatever like it is what it is between him i'm sorry my back is like killing me so we go to a um this is now cinco de mayo so we all go downtown and we're like having a great night um like i said like i was I'm not, I wasn't looking to be in a relationship. I wasn't looking for someone. The boy just appeared pretty much. He was going to appear if I was in a relationship or if I wasn't in a relationship because he did not know that I was in a relationship. So, um, we go and like literally he never been out. Like I've never been, he says that he saw me a couple of times, but I've never noticed him, never saw him. And, like, that was, like, the first time, like, we were all just hanging out as a group. It was, like, a group thing. It was, like, we were just all cool or whatever. So, then we go to, um, we go to Cinco de Mayo. And, like, downtown was crazy packed. And, like, he, every time I would text him, he would have, like, this smart attitude. But, like, they, everyone keeps on telling me, like, island men, they have this, like, superior, I'm the shit. I'm, like, I'm, you know, I'm hot. I'm cool attitude but for me i never like really talked to an island guy like like literally from the island so i just i'm not used to that i'm just used to talking to like you know you're from you're like jamaican but you're not from jamaica you was you didn't grow up there or whatever so for me it was just like really 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 different and so his jokes was like weird to me and i just always seemed like he was just had a bad attitude so <laughs> i'm just but for me i wasn't trying to like just rule him out all the way so we go to that um thing and then like we're literally like caked up the whole night i'm just like vibing we wasn't like making out but we were just like touchy feely with each other and um and everything so that night we ended up like messing around but not like really really bad but we were like messing around nothing too too serious so 
<laughs> I'm so horrible. Like, I already know. Like, I'm no good. Like, I already know I'm no good. So, um, and he probably watching this video like, bitch, you are no good. Well, you right. I'm no good. So, anyways, after that, like, I was, the next time I talked to him, it was like attitude overload. And I'm like, you need to calm down with your attitude. Like, and it was constantly asking me about my ex, asking me about this. I, I'm like, why do you constantly keep on bringing up my ex-boyfriend? Because he kept on saying, I don't want to be a rebound. I don't want to be a rebound. It's like, oh. And then another thing, like, I'm literally, like, talking to him. And he's like, oh, what phone company are you with? I'm like, I'm with T-Mobile. And then he just told me, like, this long-ass story about how he, um... How he wanted an iPhone and could I sign him up underneath my name and then he'll take it out. And I'm just like, is that normal for like random people you just kind of met to ask you to sign them up underneath their phone company? And then um, they're going to take themselves out because they wanted a cheaper rate. And I'm asking my best friend, I'm like, am I tripping? She's like, no, I would never do something like that. And that's the same thing for me. He kept on pressuring me asking me about it like if I'm gonna do something I want to do it like don't keep on asking me to do it or am I gonna do it I wasn't ready to do it because I wanted to do my own research first before I said yes or before I said no and so like he was just like well why you won't do you acting like I'm asking you to do something hard I told you I'm gonna take my name off right away I'm just trying to get a discount I'm like look if you have a problem with me saying I don't know then stop asking me and so like literally I'm getting dressed to leave the house and so he was like, um, he, like, I thought I text my friend. So I'm like, literally like looking at my phone and I'm like, well, who did I text? He was like, oh, you text your ex-boyfriend. And like, I for real, like started being so mean. Like, I'm really not a mean person, but like if someone is like constantly like getting on my nerves and like picking and nitpicking at things, like I'm going to like go off. So I was just like, you know what? I was like, yes, I was texting my ex-boyfriend. He was like, oh, y'all make a cute couple together. He's light skin, you're dark skin. Y'all make a beautiful couple. I knew you was going to get back with him. I told you I was going to be a rebound. And I'm like, you know what? Your attitude is super nasty. I don't even know why you feel like you. I was like, why do you have this tough exterior? He was like, oh, you're acting like, that's a stupid question. You're acting like, um... What he said? He said something like, that's like asking a gay person why they're gay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the boy is snapping on me and I'm like, okay, this is it. So then I was like, you know what? I don't care if I ever speak to you again. Yeah, we messed around a little bit, but to me, it's not even that serious. Like, I don't even ever want to talk to you again. So he was like, so why are you on the phone with me? And I just looked at my phone and I'm like, mm, you're right. And I just hung up. So I hung up and I immediately like blocked his number. So I went to this art gallery, art show, whatever. And then so my friend called me. She was like, guess who called me? And I was like, at first I, I, I didn't even think about it. I was like, who? And then so then later on I was just like, oh, okay. So the boy called you. She was like, I was like, what did he say? He was like, oh, I typically don't call girls back who hang up on me. But did she block my number? And she was like, well, you must have did something like really, really bad. And he was like, oh, well, she's not used to, um, she's not used to guys telling her how it is and how it should be or what it should be. And I'm like, are you serious? Like for me, I'm just like, am I really going through this right now? Like I already dealt with the toxic toxic relationship that I was just in and this man is like it hasn't even been like a full two weeks and buddy is constantly like every day snapping on me and I'm like I'm not gonna allow a person to just talk to me any kind of way like it does not work like that in my world and so he was like Oh, before we hung up the phone, he was like, oh, you wrong. You made a YouTube video about your ex-boyfriend and you put your hands on him. You should have went to jail. What if you would have went to jail? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, bro, like, why do you keep on bringing this up? Like, I've never in my life, like, ever dealt with someone like that before. So, long story short, he kept on texting my friend. So, I unblocked his number and I was texting him. I'm like... You have a nasty attitude. You act like you're very insecure. And for mind you, everybody's on um Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. Oh, you need to date somebody older. You need to date somebody older. He was too young. 
this man was 30 years old acting like that so please don't tell me that i need to date somebody older or the person that i was dating was way too young because it does not matter if you ain't shit you ain't shit no matter what age you are so at the end of the day it don't matter if the man was 30 or 22 it's like it does not matter like the duel was just not meant for me so I've been like literally like texting him and just like oh you can text my friend but you can't text me back like I have wrote him like probably like a five paragraph essay like going off on him because I'm just like sometimes people need to like see what other people are talking about about themselves like he told me some he told my friend like he didn't read it I wrote him a novel but I'm just like you know damn well you read that fucking text message there's no way you did not read that text message because I was literally like telling him about himself I was just like you're insecure you acting like you're gonna be like now you are rebound because you like acted like an idiot and I wasn't even looking at you like a rebound but now you just made yourself into one so Whose fault is that? It's It was not my fault because I was just genuinely coming at it with a positive attitude. And I was like, it is what it is. We can be cool, whatever. If it moves, if it moves, it don't, it don't. Like, I don't care. So, <sighs> anyways, never, ever, ever tell someone that you are like literally fresh out of a relationship if you are fresh out of a relationship never tell someone that they're a rebound like if you tell someone that they're a rebound I, I do honestly feel like that's fucked up but if you're going at it with a positive attitude like for me I was just cool I was just like you know it's whatever it is and then so all I can say is like I would never tell someone that I was fresh out of a relationship because they have their defense is up like or whatever defense mechanism or whatever you call it is up and everything you say or they're worried that you're going to get back with your ex and I understand that because nine times out of ten like I mean people do get with their ex especially if they have like a reputation of like breaking up and getting back together breaking up and but I didn't I didn't feel like I was going to get back with my ex so that's when I was just like why is this boy acting so crazy like you got all this research on me you follow me on Instagram, you watch my YouTube videos, so you knew what you were kind of like signing up for when you started talking to me, you know I make YouTube videos, like you know like I'm petty in some way, so it's just like, why are you snapping on me like every chance that you get about something so stupid, so yeah, like I know this video is kind of crazy, it was just a lot, and like he has not texted me back, I don't know what it is. He told my friend like he was done with me. And mind you guys, I'm 26 years old. And he's talking about something. I was childish. I'm acting like a little girl because I blocked him on Instagram. What's the point of me following you on social networks anyways if you're constantly like stalking my page and everything trying to find out all this information about me? Like I didn't feel like that was right and I didn't feel like that was genuine because if you're trying to get to know someone, you should get to know someone just by them alone. Like if I just meet a guy and he'd be like, oh, let me follow you on Instagram, I'm like, for what? We're not friends. We're not cool. I don't need to follow you because that's when the whole snooping thing, and I'm not a snooper. Like, I don't like people that snoop. I don't do the snooping thing, and I just feel like if someone is doing that to get to know you, then it's not real. It's like, you still don't know what you're getting at the end of the day. So, but I felt like he did so much research and like, you know, asking my friends this, asking my friends that, and you know, I just, it was just too much. So, like I said, like, don't tell the dude that you're fresh out of a relationship if you want to deal with the nonsense that come with it. But, um, my next video is going to be a haul video. I have not done a haul video in years, but I really want to do a haul video because I have like a lot of cute stuff right now. So, um, and then I would do a, like, a weight video, too, because I'm, like, fat, so it's no if ands, or buts about it. There's different levels of fat, but I'm, like, fat, so <laughs> I'm not shading myself or nothing like that. Um, it is what it is, like, so I will be back. Bye.